Hey, I'm Colby Keller, porn star, artist, and sex blogger. Get in bed with me. Hey, ho there, hunters. Guess who? What? No guesses? Yes, c'est moi, Colby Keller. Your sex burnt dessert. Today, I'll tackle a big one. Or average, or well, reasonably sized, but tending toward the small end. And that's okay. Yes, the penis. In particular, one very specific kind of tip, dick pick tips. Boom, 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 boom. Now granted, anything involving aesthetics, or perhaps more explicitly, representations of reality, inevitably veers into the realm of the subjective. Now I ain't gonna bother with all that pomo shit, cause we ain't got the time, and I'm the sexpert. So take my advice, or leave it. I love everybody, okay? So just don't hate me. That said, there tend to be two specific strategies when it concerns organ imagery. One, no-shows. Two, show and tell. Now, no-shows, well, don't show it. This could be for a variety of reasons, including modesty, but don't be surprised if your cruisees start drawing their own conclusions. If you don't want to show it, reasonably accept the responsibilities. Don't be afraid to tell the truth. If you really want to bet him, he's going to find out soon enough, right? And if he is a size queen, don't serve disappointment where it doesn't belong. We all have different sexualities, okay? And no one should judge size queens, however unreasonable you might find their particular fetish. I, of course, say this as, well, a self-confessed size proletariat. I don't advocate for the monarchy, but I do like my big dicks. Now, two, show and tell. Even with dick pics, it makes reasonable sense to also include a general size indication. Pics can be deceiving. For this reason, I suggest the following. Now, while close-ups are handy, remember, don't smudge the lens. It helps to give some perspective to your prospective date. I'm personally fond of cockpit comparison shots. Those are the ones where guys measure their dicks against familiar objects, partly because they're so damn funny, but they also serve a useful point. Just remember, unless you're intentionally trying to piss people off, and some people do that with their, their profiles, please use an object most of us have a relatively firm understanding of. A beer bottle, dollar bill, stack of quarters, a can of bug spray. If you make it all the way to the end of a family size off can, I'll marry you. Two, avoid holding your pecker at suspicious angles, okay? Again, personally, I'm not very fond of those half-stocked pictures where the subject literally squeezes every single drop of blood they can into a mushy mess of man meat. Erectile dysfunction is no laughing matter. But there are solutions. Stay tuned, I might explain a flu. <laughs> a few. <laughs> A flow, a flow, a flow. Um, but it's probably best not to advertise until you get it sorted out. Three, have an assortment of pics available to send uh, from different angles, particularly if you're a top. Remember, not every bottom can handle every angle or girth, and will save you both a lot of time to figure out the fit before fucking. Lastly, cocks are hot. All shapes and sizes. I guarantee someone out there will like yours. If they don't, fuck them. Figuratively, I guess, but don't be ashamed. If you're really just looking for a man to code up kids with and this whole topic is making you a little uneasy, well, I'm guessing your profile includes a lot of selfies and cardigans, then sex probably shouldn't be a big issue anyways, right? And I couldn't imagine why you're on this blog. I suggest posting a pic of your car or last monthly bake statement instead. Hope that helps, boys. Adios.